ain't nothing negative about y'all. I'm going to brag on you in just a minute. But I've had a lot of friends, record executives, since I've been on MCA. Most of my business is done with MCA Nashville. Amen. That's fine. But if they send me a little something, I love them. I don't care where the check comes from. <laughs> my second album. I got a call from Universal City. Said, uh, Jerry, I understand you have some good bird hunting in Mississippi. I said, what kind of bird hunting? He said, quail. I said, some of the finest in the world. You want to go? I would love to go. I got my schedule out. I said, you meet me in Jackson, Mississippi, let's Friday. And I give him several dates where this man could meet me in Jackson, Mississippi and go quail hunting with me. Well, I'm standing there waiting on him the morning he's supposed to come. And he gets off the airplane looking like little Lord Fauntleroy. He's got seven aides with him. I said, hey, man, you can send them aides back to California. We can pick up our own birds. <laughs> so we got in my pickup truck and drove to Route 4, Liberty, Mississippi, to Uncle Versi Ledbetter's house. I told my Hollywood friend, wait in the truck. I went in to see Uncle Versi to tell him we gonna hunt on his place and I was gonna use one of his bird dogs. Uncle Versi, how you feeling? He said, Jerry, I'm in low cotton. I said, my old mule, Della. I said, I made about 20 good crops with her. She's sick. Veterinarian is out here this morning and says she's suffering. <laughs> Jerry, I don't want her to suffer. I wouldn't let the veterinarian put her out of her misery this morning. But I want you to shoot her for me. <laughs> While you're up there bird hunting now, over there on that section of land, you're going to see old Della and you just shoot her. Put her out of her misery. I don't want her suffering. I said, Uncle Percy, I don't want to shoot that mule. They shoot them racehorses at Louisville when they break a leg, humane. I said, all right, so I'm starting back to the truck, and I got to thinking. <laughs> I'm going to have me some fun out of this Hollywood dude. I jumped up in the cab of that truck, and I started beating the dash. I said, that old man said I couldn't hunt on his place. Good as I've been to him. I've been knowing him all my life. Fought a war with his youngins. He said, uh-uh, you get that Hollywood dude with that goatee off of my place. <laughs> oh, and I scratched off, throwed rocks all up on the side of the barn. <laughs> and I get near back to the main road, and there's old Della, that blind mule eating grass. I slam on brakes. <laughs> I said, uh-huh. <laughs> that old man be ugly to me. <laughs> I'll just kill his mule. And I jumped out of that truck and I said, boom, boom, and down old Della went graveyard dead. About that time I heard three shots up at the truck, boom, boom, boom. I said, fella, what in the world are you doing? He said, Jerry, that old man upset you so bad I killed three of his cows. I growed up with Marcel Ledbetter. He was my friend. Marcel's in the pubwood business. You know why? When he was a little boy, one day his daddy called him in. And Marcel didn't like school teachers. He didn't like school houses. He didn't like school books. None. Uncle Percy said, Marcel, there's more to school than recess. Now, you're going to get up your lessons or the day you get old enough to get your driver's license, I'll take you out of school and put you to hauling pup wood. Now, what's it going to be? Marcel Ledbetter got his driver's license the day he entered the fourth grade. <laughs> Uncle Versi bought him a second-hand pup wood truck. Marcel's truck didn't have no cab on it. <laughs> he was coming from the wood yard one hot evening. <laughs> And every now and then he'd snatch his bare foot off the accelerator. Oh, because it'd get hot up on that to him. And he got to thinking how good a cold, knee-high belly washer orange soda water would taste. 
Oh, and he wanted one of them so bad. He knew if he's going to get one, he better hurry up and stop because there ain't no beer joints in Amit County. We have done voted it out. Me and Marcel and the up deep water Baptists have voted it out. But there's five county line beer joints to serve them folks what's done voted it out over in my county. <laughs> Marcel pulled his truck up in front of the beer joint, put it in neutral, pulled the emergency brake up, got off his truck and started walking toward the beer joint. Now all he had on was a pair of overhauls. Nothing else. <laughs> Bottom buttons is button. Top buttons is flopping. He buttoned them in the wintertime. <laughs> Do you hear me? He didn't have on nothing but a pair of overalls. See, when I was a boy, our mamas wouldn't let us wear underclothes with overalls in the hot summertime because they'd fade on them. You get you a brand new pair of them blue denim overalls in the hot summertime, they'll blue you up pretty good too, won't they, mama? They sure will. Marcel walked up to that screen door to Beer Joe and said, Hi! Ma'am, how the counter, what you want? I said, a cold knee-high belly wash your orange soda water. Man said, you better get away from that door, you redneck. You ain't got on no shoes, no shirt. We don't relax you in here. Marcel said, I ain't coming in no Beer joint. I got the money. I done sold low to pub wood. Hand me a soul knee-high. And I'm telling you, I ain't coming in no beer joint. You hand me one of them bottles of pop, I'll pay you for it. And I'll drink it while I'm driving home. Two fellas sitting back at a table playing this year a boo-ray card game. This from Louisiana. They said, hey boy, didn't you hear the man tell you to leave? Poor Marcel. <laughs> Walking on them rocks out there barefooted. He walked back to that pump wood truck and opened up that toolbox and reached over in there and got one of them lightweight McCulloch chainsaws. <laughs> he caught a hold of that starting rope. <laughs> he walked back up to the door of that beer joint and just stuck the snout of that thing through the screen door. <laughs> he reamed him out of hole and walked inside. Oh, he revved it up, let all them screen wires and hedges and things come loose from it. He swung it to the left and just de-legged the table. He swung it to the right, de-legged another table. He uppercutted that card game. Sawdust and splinters went everywhere. They gave Marcel that beer joint.